And just like that, here we are with video two of the series on what is the Bible and why does it really matter? So for this video, I really want to touch on that the Bible reveals. So um, this study, I want to remind you, is inspired by the series on the Bible app. Um, by Dennis and Form. Uh, it's what is the Bible? Why does it matter? So uh, a lot of this stuff comes from that, but we're going to go ahead and get started in prayer and just go from there. So uh, just uh, Father God, just thank you just for uh, bringing us together uh, on this platform. Lord God, I, I, I just pray for this um, as I go through this study that I'm going through it this with the individuals who's watching this and listening to this Lord God I pray that the hearts minds and souls be uh, changed through this study as as I continue to learn more but also that that the study that I am going through also inspires others to go and do this study also Father God, I pray that that my words are not what is being shared this evening, but it is your words through me, that you use me as your vessel. Father God, I pray that what I'm about to, to share is all honoring to you, and if it is not, do not let others hear it. This is in, in your son's name we pray, amen. So like I said, the Bible reveals. God wants to reveal himself to every single one of us. As we start reading Psalm 19 verse 1 um, from the NIV Bible, it says, The heavens proclaim the glory of God the skies display his craftsmanship. You see, without scripture, we wouldn't know much about Jesus. We wouldn't know much about God. But thanks to the Bible, we are truly able to study and read and know his word. You see, there are a few different ways um, that God speaks to us and we can find God according to the Bible. According to Romans 3, verse 23, it reads, For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Romans 6.23 reads, For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. In Matthew 25 verse 41 we read, Then the king will turn to those on his left and say, Away with you, you cursed one, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his demons. You see, God answers as we see in other scriptures. God responds to us, but we may not always see it because we got our blinders on. We want our answers to be the answers that we have in our human mind. But you see, God wants us to respond to Him 
And truthfully, sometimes his responses to us make us wonder if it's truthfully him. Because his response to us sometimes may be, wait. I have seen this in my own life. You see, several years ago, I thought I was called into full-time missionary. Which, I feel like I'm slowly living this out. But at the time, I wasn't prepared for it. So, I felt I needed to wait. Short-term missions are great, don't get me wrong. But I need to learn. I still am learning. I need to learn about myself. As I continue to learn and bring back the education that I am given and share it with others here. Sharing what I know here and then truthfully living it out in my everyday life in the world. You see, if we want a relationship with God, we got to understand that He is the author. If we want to learn about something, we study it. And this process of studying should be how we model our own life. I don't care how big the problem is or the praise is. We should be praising God no matter what. He's given us another day. Glory be to God. You see, we study God's word to better handle the situations that we face and to truthfully make disciples worth multiplying. We will begin to not only find hope in His answer to us while studying, but we'll also have that personal relationship from Him. But let's think about something here. The Bible becomes the gateway here. The Bible becomes the bridge. Truthfully, if you don't have the Bible, what is the relationship like with God? Remember uh, John 10. It says, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to its to the full. These words are read, so they are spoken by Christ to us. The Bible is the very words of God. So why do we need to really trust the Bible? Because it is breathed by God. So, it is His word for us. Okay? we should be able to trust His Word without hesitation. We should be able to study His Word and live it out humbly and honorable. How 
Have you heard the saying that every story has two sides? Well, oftentimes we see that yet again in Scripture. The two sides that we see in Scripture is the divine side and sometimes the human side. See, Paul shared the gospel that he was sharing um, but he says that it wasn't him speaking. It was rather the divine author himself inspired by God. The human side says this is God breathed through someone. So he didn't shout the Bible in an audible in an audible tone. But he did use others to share the message, the news. God used Paul as a vessel. So, did you know that God can also use you as a vessel? Key thing here is if you let him. That's key. Because it takes a personal relationship with God himself to truthfully be used by God. The personal relationship that we can have with God starts by us accepting Him into our own life. So I talked about the human um, side of it. But I also talked about the um, <clears throat> I talked about the human side and I talked about the divine side. So how can we tell the difference here? Like we shared, the Bible is both divine and human. So one thing that this study really pointed out to me is that if Jesus could be completely God without losing his humanity, the Bible can be fully God's word and still be the work of humans. But if Jesus could be fully human and yet Lord... The Bible would be works of human and God's authoritative word. See, holding these two realities close, I find that it is important to at least acknowledge the differences here. Because God shares in miraculous ways. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 reads All scripture is God breathed and it is useful for teaching rebuking correcting and training in righteousness So I just really wanted to wrap up on that on that scripture there because this is super important information to touch on. So, I hope you join me as I try to get all my vlogs back on track here over the next week. But just keep your faith strong by reading the Bible every day and knowing the Word, living the Word, and speaking the Word. You guys, have a great week as I go ahead and start closing out in prayer. Father God, just thank you for just giving us this study. 
Father God, I pray that others hear you through this study and not me. That if they hear me, it goes in one ear and out the other. And they truthfully live your life that you want them to live. Father God, I thank you just for this opportunity. But Lord God, I pray also for every single one who's watching this. I don't know everyone's stories, but Lord God, I thank you just for, for just giving me this opportunity to share. And Father God, I pray for the mission experience that is coming up quickly. That A, I'm able to even get the money raised. It is not cheap. But I know that if I have faith and I trust in you, it will come. So Father God, I thank you just for, for that opportunity. But Lord God, I pray also for the individuals who are watching this and don't quite understand the Bible yet. Lord God, I pray that, that you place these individuals in churches where they can grow and seek you and learn more about you. And Father God, I pray something that I normally wouldn't pray here. I pray that people challenge me. That if something I say does not honor you, that people just see that and they call me out on it. Because I do not want to be sharing my own words, but I'd rather be used as your vessel. As a song says, Lord, prepare me to be your sanctuary, pure and holy. Father God, I just, I lift this up to you. We are your people. But Father God, I love you and I thank you. But prepare me to truthfully be your sanctuary. Prepare me to be your vessel. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hey guys, you have a good rest of the week. Keep strong in your faith. Don't stop believing. Chat with you guys later.